Kendrick Lamar said last weekend that he will be the main attraction at the Super Bowl 59 halftime show. Welcome back it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. Peers and users of social media have since responded to the announcement in a variety of ways. Given that the game will be played in Lil Wayne's birthplace of New Orleans, many are incensed that the Compton-born musician was selected over him. For others, it's the icing on the cake of a phenomenal year for Kendrick, who emerged triumphant in his lyrical duel with Drake. Drake has been offered this Super Bowl show for some years now and has turned it down. However, Mal stated in a recent episode of New Rory and Mal that Drake had been approached to host the Super Bowl multiple times. His co-hosts and the majority of viewers were quite dubious after his revelation. Probably four years he's been offered Super Bowl, said no for whatever reason. After all, it seems strange to turn down a chance like that more than once, and the public hasn't heard of this until now. I don't know why he would turn it down. I'm I mean, you know, that's up to the artist. Bloomer claims that sources have since put an end to this notion. According to one of them, the outlet was given an obvious untruth. Drake reportedly hasn't received an offer to work with the NFL in the five years since Jay-Z's Rock Nation teamed with the league. Having said that, Mal further asserted that he had a conversation with Drake earlier this week. According to him, the subject of Kendrick leading the Super Bowl came up. Mal did not go into great into about what Drake was supposed to say about it. He did imply that the Toronto rapper seemed unmoved by the news, though. A lot of it was just laughing, man, Mal said. It's just like word this is what y'all want to see. Like, okay. No, it's very dope. Uh, I don't, uh, yeah, like you said, Lauren, I don't believe the record is just about Drake. I Kendrick Lamar's new single has set the hip-hop world on fire today, with people responding with exuberant breakdowns or a disdainful no thanks from all corners of society. Many people are curious as to whether this is a Drake diss, the beginning of the album release, or something else entirely. But for many in the rap game, K. Dot's criticism of the culture as a whole the media industries, the public, influencers, etc. takes center stage. He's talking about just the culture, you know, people in the world, society, the media, industry, TV. media. The Breakfast Club talked about this brand new, nameless song, which is currently being called a lot of different things in the conversation. The way that Charlemagne the God interpreted Kendrick's objectives made his perspective more intriguing. I'm gonna tell you something, Kendrick, you're gonna drive yourself crazy. Okay, the only thing you can do is continue to be the change you want to see in the world. Cause this ain't stopping no time soon. It's just not. You know what I mean. We're too far gone. Like, God himself would have to come back, and even then, they would not believe it. Even then, man, Wu-Tang's triumph could start playing and a big toe could come from the sky and Jesus himself could come down, and they would make him have to prove himself. That ain't walking on water, that's AI. Of course, for those who share Kendrick Lamar's opinions about the culture, this is a fairly popular view on the internet. Many share Charlemagne the God's assessment that the struggle for hip-hop soul is hopeless. However, there are countless ways we may phrase this to represent the idea that transformation takes time. There is obviously a lot more to this story that will guide this decision. Influencers talk down cause I'm not with the basic shit. Regarding Drake, Kendrick Lamar and DJ academics couldn't be more at odds with one another. The former is the self-proclaimed biggest hater. Many have referred to the latter as the biggest Drake admirer out there. DJ Academics let his partiality seep through all during the Drake vs. Kendrick Lamar beef, and it looks like the Candeman took note. But they don't hate me, they hate the man that I represent. Lamar just released an untitled song in which he appears to criticize the popular figure on the internet. It didn't take Ak long to become anxious. Lamar's most recent song has a lot of dense bars to get through. However, the ones that fans have perceived as being about DJ academics are the ones that seem to be the most obvious. The type of man that never did ride cause I want a favor. Lamar raps. Ak is definitely an influencer and has been accused of riding a little too hard for Drake over the years. The subliminals continue. The radio personality pushing propaganda for salary. Thank God for Kendrick. This was terrible. It wasn't going to take long for DJ academics to hear it as he earns a profession by being the first to know about these surprise drops. It didn't sit well with him. The well-known blogger made it rather evident in a remark on Kendrick Lamar's Instagram that he was uncomfortable with the circumstances. New, he penned. We comprehend. It must be terrifying to be the object of a Kendrick Lamar diss. However, DJ Academics is no stranger to this predicament. Lamar called out act by name on 616 in La, which dropped amid the height of the Drake spat. During his Wednesday night broadcast, DJ Academics went into further detail about his ideas. The internet personality argued that Kendrick Lamar's decision to take jabs at him was a mistake. You can't say there isn't no game two, then immediately drop a track seemingly baiting game two. He opined. He also took to Twitter to mock the rapper's reluctance to launch an album rollout. Drop a single, he wrote. No round twos, just drop him hits. I think it's time to watch the party die. The shit done got too wicked to apologize. Kendrick Lamar prefers to do tasks quickly. Drake, who will be his adversary in 2024, is a doer. Instagram stories, AI hate music, etc. After going quiet for a few weeks or even months, Kendrick Lamar will release a song that is truly sad. On September 11th, he repeated the act. 
The rapper returned to Instagram with a five-minute epic, breaking out from his Not Like Us vacation. Although Drake's name is never mentioned or given a title, the entire song contains numerous bars that are obviously directed at the six god. Now let's examine them. Let's start with the opening verse. The first line Kendrick Lamar utters, Think it's time to watch the party die. This is a direct reference to a line in Lamar's scathing Meet the Grahams diss. Towards the end of the song, he mentions crashing Drake's party by uncovering all of the rapper's flaws. The next few bars also seem squarely aimed at Drizzy. The shit done got too wicked to apologize. Lamar raps. It's different, get him whacked and disqualified. It appears that the first section makes mention to the fact that children and significant others were coerced into the Drake conflict. The argument that Drake shouldn't be considered one of the all-time greats is reiterated in the second section. This song is a more comprehensive interpretation of the themes that Kendrick Lamar was talking about in Euphoria and not like us. He's essentially criticizing the rap scene for letting Drake take the lead. Why argue with these clowns if the circus is well at work? He wants to start afresh since he detests what the genre has evolved into. Thus, the song is a critique of both Drake and the industry that produced him. This is quite evident throughout the remainder of the first verse. Just walk that man down, that'll do everyone a solid. Kendrick Lamar seemingly throws digs at Drake's past courtesy of a Star 67 reference. He also asks Drake where his soldiers are at, after the Toronto rapper made reference to being a general in the song The Heart Part 6. Kendrick is taking a different approach here, but it's no less cutting. He's got a lot more to get off his chest when it comes to Drake, and this new song proves it.